This is Robin with Mini Matrix International, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Seating Wizard tool. To start, choose the New tab at the left of your screen, and press Choose a Setup Using a Room. The Data Explorer will appear, showing a list of rooms available. Scroll down the list until you find the proper room, then press Select. Next, press the Seating Wizard button to the left of your screen. The Seating Style tab at the top gives the opportunity to choose between setups like theater style, classroom or banquet, and other options like seating direction. Under the Banquet Options tab, you can choose table types like round or oval or rectangle, table size, distance between chairs and tables, chair size, and chair arrangements like full rounds, crescent rounds, or breakout. You can also choose the number of chairs on the right. The next tab, Staging, will provide you the opportunity to set the type and size of stage you prefer. After adjusting the size to your preference, you can add steps and choose the location you want them placed in. There's also an option to set a head table. You can also set a dance floor and choose a specific size. If you need a different size not included in the options, you can enter your own specific dimensions by simply placing them into the dance floor size area. The Next tab gives you audiovisual options, while the Aisle tab changes numbers and aisle sizes. The Numbering tab is where you can number tables in a specific direction. At this point, you can press OK and view the diagram you just created. You can now go back to the Seating Wizard tab for changes if needed. You may want to change your dance floor size to create more space, or go back into the Aisle widths for more space between tables. You can even change the direction of the numbering sequence if you prefer. Each time you press OK, your new changes will take effect, and you can revisit the Seating Wizard tab to perfect your diagram as often as you like. Now, you can move on to save your diagram by going to File, Save, naming your new diagram, and then pressing Save again. And finally, you can close your diagram after saving it.